Hello and welcome back to YouTube. Feeling quite happy and energized. And we're about to ruin it by playing a new mission in our Goat Clan conquest. The next mission is called Swamps of Death and it's kind of a painful one. Luckily we just beat lazy villagers and we got ourselves a nice bonus for our extras. But yeah, the Swamps of Death are definitely not a fun one. Luckily there's only two enemies and they will have to suffer with the same penalties as us. So every single tile has one uh, spot less than usual, and there's also a bunch of swamps where you can barely build anything. And that makes this mission, yeah, quite painful to deal with. Uh, the bonus we're getting here as Goat Clan is also definitely not one of the best. It's not terrible, to be honest, but yeah, we'll, s we'll see you in a second. Uh, let's just build a scout camp and our sheepfold first. And as you can see, we already start with our first knowledge. I believe it doesn't raise the cost of our first knowledge, so I believe the first knowledge is always 80 anyways. So in that sense it's really free, it also doesn't contribute towards our blessings. And in of itself it's, it's not that helpful, it boosts our towers, but it also boosts our defense and the uh, attack of our villagers. So because it's doubled we get uh, double the bonus, usually it's only 30%, but uh, the bonus itself is uh, specifically specifying that it's doubled. Uh, where were we here? And yeah, it, it increases your civilian attack and it's doubled uh, because of this. 100% extra on this. And that's okay, so at least for the first couple wolf attacks, we don't need to worry. Uh, our villagers are gonna beat them up more easily. The real advantage of having this tech already is that we can get better lores quicker. Uh, what do I mean by that is that technically, as our very first lore, we could get feeling safe. So if we rush out our Warchief, which we definitely have an option of doing here with this uh, Iron Tile right away. We could be in a position where we have instantly three happiness right from the get-go. Now we could get a uh, military strategy and get a stronger army, but I think the better advantage is getting the feeling safe. And as you can see, we're already struggling with building slots. So if we want to make our boat, we will be filled up in building slots already in our main tile. If we consider building a sheepfold here, we can't build an iron mine anymore and stuff like that. So what we want to do is get started on this uh, mining operations as quickly as possible so we can free up those building slots again. Uh, I will first need to make a house though, and I can't make it over here because otherwise I can't mine my iron anymore. So I'm gonna do it over here. I wanted to keep one empty space on my main tile to, to still make a boat. And we're already being attacked. Uh, let's use a few more villagers, maybe three. And we can see our defensive strategy, how it's gonna help defeating the wolf. We can take two attacks. And hopefully you don't get anyone wounded, perfect. So, once the house is done, we're gonna need to mine her, because we really need to just mine everything as quickly as possible. Also, I have 20 more iron down here. So, instead of going for sharp axes and then amenities, we're gonna start with mining efficiency, because we just really want to free up these building slots ASAP. And we can barely even uh, place a second sheepfold, because if we make it here, we can't mine our stone. Uh, here, we're already full. We could delete our scout camp and then maybe make a building there. But for now, I don't want to do that either. That's why I meant at the beginning that this mission is kind of a pain to deal with. Or at least the shipwreck helps a bit. Now we're just benefiting a lot from having the free wood as a conquest bonus and the free lore. It's basically like having one extra villager the entire time that doesn't cost us anything. It's making us a little bit of wood and a little bit of lore. And well, uh, since we can't really place many buildings, we also don't need to stockpile a lot, large amount of wood right now. What we really need next is a boat so that we can afford the war chief. 
or maybe an extra to clear out all these wolves. I'll prefer to make a, a war chief in this one. Let's go with also this tile over here. Set the wounded one to be scout uh, instead. <coughs> At least this way we'll have a little bit of uh, food income. We almost finished mining all the iron. Then we can make another sheepfold there. We do also need that boat. I think uh, next we're gonna go for shipbuilding so we can get wool trade quickly as well. And we just go for amenities later. If we even need it. We have a whole bunch of extra sheep here. It's basically already enough. Together with the two sheep we get from our 200 bonus, we basically have nine that allows us to fill three sheep folds. And we already seen in the last mission that we don't really need the relic, we're also fine with just having uh, those three. Okay, we scouted this. Scout out the tile next to our shipwreck. At least we know we're decently safe. Let's put at least one sailor. Probably better two. to go. There we go, that's the iron done. We finally freed up this building slot where we will instantly build another ship port because we're not already <laughs> we're not getting enough free resources yet and we want some more free resources from the ship fold. Eventually I will delete the scout camp so I can make my extra camp here to recruit the war chief. I just want to maybe scout these two tiles first just so I know uh, if there's more wolves. And we're being attacked unfortunately. Let's try not to get anybody wounded. Perfect. Yeah, this is where the conquest bonus helps. Buy some more food for now. Okay, these are just bears, that's good. Uh, we also want to stop the boat just because I want to use the last month to get a lot of food. This is honestly not too not too bad of a map. Usually you can have uh, a lot worse luck while you're forced to take two or three of the swamps. So let's grab wool trade. It's gonna give us gold income. And like I said, we wanna. As soon as this is scouted, I will delete the scout camp. We can still use the scout to technically scout the shipwreck. I don't think we're gonna have the bear killed anytime soon. And well, we need the wood for the mine, but we also want to get. Extra or camp, like I said. I think it's more important right now to get the extra. Could even argue to make the extra or camp over here and then delete it again. That way we could keep the scout camp, which is more important. Hmm. I think we don't really need the scout camp, so. Now that the uh, winter has come, we can set a second woodcutter. Oh, scout is done. Perfect. So, the 
question now is do we keep the scout around all winter not doing anything or do we convert him to a villager so we can use him and then build another scout camp. Hmm. Tough choice, honestly. Since there are six wolves here, I'm kind of tempted to just rebuild the scout camp later. I don't really need this right now. So yeah, let's just convert him. Sailors, we get our war chief, and that's excellent. Next, we can take our feeling safe to get some happiness from him. And that's exactly what I thought. We can sacrifice our wounded over there. Oh, there's two wolves, that's not great. So, with this, we want to build a forge. And we're being attacked, of course. So, let's go for a bodyguard, since he's gonna be helpful right now. I almost always choose bonuses right now, over bonuses later. And the bodyguard is gonna help against the Dark Elf. Which, we don't know where he's coming from. He's taking sweet, sweet time. There he is. Might want to use some of these villagers to help out. Excellent. They can go back to work. One of them can build the mine. And then we're going to grab feeding safe for that lovely happiness. I have two, up, two tool upgrades I want to get. First off, the sailors and then the miners. Uh, in this mission, you also have the volcano, so getting the mining upgrade helps a lot. But for that, we need the mine first. We also want the house next. We can stop the boat. We need the uh, food production in summer. And with the use of our bodyguard as a as a tank we can take out these wolves. I also want him to die, so I'm gonna try to take on one more wolf. Maybe two. Hopefully taunt all the other wolves. Thank you. Okay, how is our food situation? Not excellent, obviously, but it's okay. It's all gonna be better once we get carpentry, which is gonna be our next lore. Uh, since we have the volcano giving us so much stone in this map, we can save a lot of resources on building upgrades. Slow without the boat, so let's uh, put one, one more sailor. <coughs> so basically, now what we want to do is save up wood and gold so we can upgrade buildings. Uh, there's not really any rush to do anything else. And we want to get 200 fame. One more tile would help, one more feast would help. Once we get amenities way later in the game, we can also upgrade some of these zones to have more slots. Uh, for now, that's a distant dream, to be honest. Let's try to save up the food for a feast. I could upgrade the town hall, but I'm gonna wait until I get carpentry mastery.
could delete the forge and build something else, but we need the wood anyways for upgrades. Uh, so I'm not gonna do that. One important upgrade is also going to be the woodcutters, because we're gonna need to spend a lot of wood destroying buildings and, and raising them again. There's only two enemies, so it could be quite easy to just destroy them both. Or we could try to just go for fame victory again. We see a bit how it plays out. Let's throw that feast. Get carpentry next. Voila. Upgrade the town hall. Upgrade the sheepfold. And we should be good to go now. We can almost get our bodyguard back. Time to set a second sailor. And we can colonize this so we get our 200 fame. And first thing on the agenda is going to build a new ship fort. So even though we have a shipwreck, I'm gonna upgrade the woodcutter next. Also we need a silo technically because there's gonna be rats. Uh, that's not great. Upgraded woodcutter will help. I think we need to just destroy this. Can we make a silo here? I don't think so. Uh, we can make a silo here. Once uh, the miner is done, we can build a silo. Tempting to throw another feast because we're so rich and our happiness is low, but uh, we're really not profiting too much because we don't really have really valuable uh, constructions or, like, sorry, uh, production going on. Most of our villagers are just uh, collecting food. It's not enough of a reason to consider feast, in my opinion. We also need to get. Uh, Healer soon because what if our watch if gets sick, we would lose them. Definitely not something we want. So yeah, we're building the silo so it's safe from the rats. these two tiles also eventually. For that we're gonna need extras. So I really hope our watch chief doesn't get sick because uh, well, when he's sick you can heal him for less. It might be really dangerous so we need to get started on that healing right away. And heal the watch chief. I think our next goal, it could be either to get legendary heroes and monster slayer that helps take out all these enemies, and of course the watch you've got sick just like I thought he would. So I 
feel really happy about my choice. So, uh, I think we can go for Amenities first, let's play a bit greedy. And first we want to get some more tool upgrades, we want to get the warband and the woodcutters. And what we want to do is send the sick people out to be scouts very soon. Let's heal all the villagers that are not sick for now. Like those two. We have five people sick in total. One of the healers is sick. Where are the other two? Are they on the boat? Of course. Ah, this is actually great timing. We can send the sick people to die. Maybe not the most friendly choice for your villagers, but it's a definitely a very economic choice. Let's upgrade the sheep fold and our boat. Also, this last villager needs to go die. The war chief survived thanks to our healing. So, once he's healed, we can start clearing out our stone tile over here. And since the rat event it has passed, we could destroy the silo, but we would lose a lot of food. I don't love that. I'm just gonna wait until the forge is done, then we can destroy that. I'm just gonna heal these other two, it's just gonna be more satisfying to have everyone full HP again. I also want to clear these wolves, obviously. So we haven't really found the enemies yet. Could be that these are already the enemies, but I kind of doubt it. The upgrade at the woodcutter is maybe a bit unnecessary, but it makes it so we never really need to spend more building slots and we can be really efficient with our workers. Oh, the watch if is full, we're just gonna wait until winter's over. So now with this little warband we can basically take on anything. And we can also get the amenities next. We could also just go for more military at this point. We don't get that much from amenities. You know what, let's... I kind of like it because if the volcano erupts, we can afford making more tiles to build mines in. That could be helpful. Maybe that's good enough of a reason to do that. The free sheep we get, we can slaughter and afford more building slots with that. Why not? Okay, we found blue, which is apparently Stag, and Stag is struggling, but he has Torth Rat. Could throw some feasts, I don't really see the point. Let's go amenities now. And what we can do with that extra ability is that we make some more books. 
Scout can get the shipwreck. Knowing this is in the game, we probably also know that one of the next events is going to be the bonfire event. Since we don't have the bodyguard, we can't really use our kiting strategy either. It's just gonna be taking the damage. Dark elves are coming. It's okay. <coughs> Let's colonize this tile over here. We can make a nice little natural border for ourselves. by blue. And let's build a house and a mine. And let's start sailing. We moved into our hometown. It's not allowed, but okay. Okay, we have this scouted. Now we can Scout these two. Might want to get a tower. I think we're fine. Let's get the bear first, ideally. Once the party guard is dead, we can kite the lava golem a bit. He makes a fire attack on the warchief. find a good spot to shoot him from. It's kind of what I expected. Ah. Let's use the warchief to deal with that and use the extra to kite him. Why not? And there's Draugr portals. No volcano. That's good. We definitely need to get a brewer now. Let's see if we can fit it in this tile. Perfect. What are the scouts doing? Did one die? Seriously? Yeah, let's take care of these Draugr at least. these out and we can use our kiting strategy as per usual. Just have to wait for the X-Force to catch up a bit. I think for 
for this we want military strategy first. To give the extra some more help. Actually, we still need weaponsmith. Would have been definitely the better choice, but we got some ourselves some stone. Stone here, perfect. Blue is not looking too strong. We could probably take them on. What are they doing? Probably also want to make some hunters. We have enough gold, we can stop the boat for a bit and make a hunter. Almost done here, perfect. You move over. Even more stone. get some army camps but also a forge. We can start with the forge first. Extra villager can move the brewer. Another bodyguard. Let's upgrade the sheepfold also. And let's upgrade one of these tiles so we can make army camps. The reason we want army camps is because we can upgrade their weapons. Also get the healers. And blue really doesn't look very strong, so. Tempted to start harassing blue very soon. Let's throw a feast. Okay. Next, we want to kite this big golem. Let's kite him from the middle this time. next which is where probably back here we don't need this boat so we're gonna get the shield bears next and then the warriors That's okay because we have free sheep coming. Kinda expected this to be honest. Let's go weaponsmith. Happiness. Let's take in the tile, which you don't like. <coughs> Let's get the warrior first. 
Yeah, it's a bit faster. We can get the shield bearers. We should focus the extra with everyone. Slower the sheep. And this one. So we need to upgrade a house. Scouts are doing random stuff. I don't know where the other one went. Oh, down here. The improved healing of this tile is nice, but it's too far to, to be worth it. <coughs> now we also have the Altar of Kings. Get some more army camps. Don't have the wood for it. So why not use one of you to become a shield bearer? Actually, find the town hall. Here, which we don't need. So yeah, that's kind of what I expected with this mission, that it's going to take a while. But we finally hit a point where we're strong enough. Miners are done, perfect. One of you can help forging. <coughs> this army should be easily cleared. Make another army camp here. Doesn't really matter which one. I'm tempted to just upgrade the healers, but I think it's better to upgrade the extras. Oh, he has his war chief coming. Let's just heal for a second. Army. This time we have hopefully full military strategy, and this should help. So we can get upgrade one more building. Could be the hunters. Be the axe I don't think it matters. <laughs> so let's get the axe So this is done. We have one more upgrade. The warriors. <coughs> and at this point, we just need to kill the enemies. Looks like we have quite an easy way to kill um, black or blue. But let's keep going here for now. No reason not to decolonize both. What's the scout doing? We really don't need the scout anymore, so let's make him into a soldier. Same with you, soldier, soldier. I don't know what the scout is doing now. Go here, make another hunter. Okay, blue is mustering another defense. Uh, sorry, a lighthouse. 
and this two that we don't need anymore. Make another army camp. You can go hunter together with him. So let's see what really helps at this point. Doesn't really matter much. I think these two would be both fine choices. Since we already got rid of all the monsters, let's just go legendary heroes. A few more enemies down here. Okay, this is a nice timing now. We can. Oh. I think we can still go. We'll keep the shield there safe for now. The other one can go take the towers. So the watch if tanking these. Bills, we can make two more shields. Wounded one can go here. Looks like we didn't have to deal with the volcano event and we're being attacked. Let's run. Maybe turn into villagers first. We don't really need the tile anymore. Run. Like a nice little quick path to his base, not really. Yeah, I don't think we need to care about this. It's obviously not good to lose the house. we have. <coughs> this is just a squirrel army. Doesn't even have weapons, man. I mean, we need the warship in the fight. So anyway, the extra order, we're gonna need them. our army of 10. You're about to see a strong difference in combat prowess here. I'm just gonna colonize this first so we don't have such a penalty to deal with. And then let's fight. Chief ran past, but on the other hand, he killed the axis, so I'm happy with that. I'm gonna take out these fishers before they escape. Like this. This has a tower, this has a tower, so it doesn't matter which way we go. Rid of 
those. Don't need wood anymore. Make one, two more warriors. Okay, do we have a shield barrier? Yes, we do. These two warriors can handle whatever this is. Oh, he's finally building an altar. <laughs> oh, where is he going? Quick, defend this tile. The base is not important. Let's leave. <coughs> let's also throw a feast. And let's move our entire army here. And I think the shield bearers will go first again. We'll move the shield bearer over there to tank this tower for us. <coughs> In case you don't know, once this shield bearer dies, the tower attacks whatever is closest. So that's going to be this sh shield bearer. So that's why the tower is now targeting the shield bear. We can even move out and then it's gonna target the closest enemy, which are gonna be the warriors. Like this. No, I didn't leave. Okay. Doesn't matter, we don't care about the dark elves either. Looks like that's the mission. Uh, it's a painful one. But at least now we always have the option of going feeling safe so early. It's definitely also helpful in missions where Monster Slayer helps, which is a lot of them. Yeah. Squirrel is too busy attacking to defend their own base. Not that it really matters against our armies. So yeah. Pretty good mission. Took us a while though, 804. Uh, hope to see you in the next one. Let's watch as these Dark Elves are ravaging our base. See you in the next one.